Well, new tonight, warning signs posted in Natomas about toxic algae taking over some parks. And experts say the high heat and bad drought could cause that algae to blossom around the state. CBS 13's Anna Giles live in Sacramento with how people can track this problem. Anna? Yeah, we're standing right next to that warning sign here in Natomas talking about that harmful algae in the flood control basin at North Natomas Regional Park. This is one of just a few areas locally where people are urged to keep their pets and kids away from the water. When bacteria buildup turns bad, a body of water can be harmful to people and animals, but it's an issue that's not always top of mind. I wouldn't even think to check this algae, but maybe if the, if the water does look dirty, then that would be like the that's only so reason funny. to check. According to state data, popular waterways in the immediate Sacramento area are safe. People headed to the American River or Folsom Lake for 4th of July are in the clear. But the state labels part of Discovery Bay near San Francisco as a danger area with a warning not to swim or touch the scum in the water. Other Bay Area waterways have the same warning including the Big Break Regional Shoreline. Warning signs went up in some parts of Sacramento about potentially harmful algae in storm water quality flood control basins. It's an occurrence that can happen when you have uh, warm temperatures and uh, water that doesn't flow. Carlos Eliason with the Department of Utilities says these basins look like ponds where kids might play or people might walk their dogs. Eliason says drought conditions indirectly make the problem worse. People are getting better at not uh, wasting water, not letting water go off in its sidewalks. That means less water running off into these flood control basins. So when you have less water, you have generally higher temperatures, uh, which can lead and you know, it's it, it's one of the, the, the conditions where these bacteria algae can form. It's an issue state water officials say won't go away anytime soon. Yeah, and you can check for harmful algae in waterways all over the state through an interactive map. We've included a link to that in this story on our website.